Congratulations on the victory, getting that first UFC win in your hometown. How are you feeling right now? How much weight is lifted off your shoulder? A lot of weight is uh, lifted off my shoulder. A, I was like, I can't let this guy come to my city and take away a W from me. But B, also proven that I belong in the UFC and I wasn't just, you know, picking my opponents when I was undefeated in previous leagues. Yeah, for sure. And uh, from people I talked to, you were kind of like Rocky in this camp. You just stayed laser focused, you know, really just focused on the eye and the prize. What was different about this camp than maybe some of your other camps in the past? Uh, that, the thing I want to say is nothing was different about this camp. Uh, okay. I was back home with my original trainers, with my original strength and conditioning coach, with my original sparring partners, with uh, people that care about me. So it was just getting back to me, myself, me and King. Was there anything about Austin in the fight that surprised you at all? Um, I think I was surprised how he wasn't really aggressive. I was expecting him to be quite aggressive, and I was expecting him to have a hard right hand and I didn't really get any of that. And when we did uh, clinch up and grapple, I was expecting his uh, grappling to be a lot stronger than it was, and it wasn't. So I, I wish I had this mindset going into the fight, and I probably would have got the finish. How much were you feeding off the crowd in the fight? Just with the, you know, you got the biggest pop out of anyone, I think, on this card. Yeah, you know, to be honest, I was making sure the crowd didn't play any part of my game plan. I didn't want to walk into something stupid or you know, get over excited. I just wanted to make sure all I listened to was my, my uh, team behind me. Does, uh, given that, does it make it a little bit more challenging or harder uh, fighting in front of your hometown? You know, as much as I said uh, I was making sure the crowd wasn't playing to me, it was really nice to hear every, you know, just feel all the love, everyone behind me. So I definitely, uh, it gave me energy, especially at the end there. I knew I was two rounds ahead. I was like, okay, I'm going to try and, you know, you know, put the seal on the show, but uh, he stuck in there and he kept his distance and he didn't let me get too close. I was trying to reap in a body shot there, but he kept uh, backing up, so it was hard to land. You were very emotional after the fight. Is, is that just the fact, I mean, you've had a hard upbringing. It, it was a long road to get to the UFC. Was that just all of that coming together and the, the reality that you have this UFC victory? Yeah, it was It was everything. Having you know hard upbringing, being in the UFC, performing in front of my home city, in front of all my friends and everyone I grew up with. Um, coming off that loss, revenge, it was just so many emotions. I, I didn't even know what I was doing. It just kind of came out. I know this wins quick. Are you looking to fight in Canada again? There's that card in Moncton. There's also the card in Toronto at the end of the year in December. Are you looking at any of those cards? Yeah, I'm definitely looking at those cards. Um, I'm, my shin's just a, a little tad bit banged up from kicking them a lot. So I'm just going to let this heal up and uh, you know start another training camp, and I'll be definitely looking to fight again in Canada. How do you celebrate after a big win like this? I think uh, I'm having a national, national, national on 10th. Everybody's welcome. And uh, I think there's even an after party after that. I'll post on my social media and uh, let everybody know where I'm going to be at. You got enough uh, energy after going three rounds uh, to do some party? I got more energy than I did before the fight. <laughs> I, I feel I feel good, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, Kim, we talked. They, we were talking about you being emotional. The, and, and the UFC, they showed the clip of you. They, they tweeted out the clip of you. Just kind of listening. You know, listening a little bit after. And it brings in some people in the crowd. Uh, who are those people? Are they just friends of yours? And what did their support mean to you? Uh, those are, you know... Every, those are like I, I was born in this city, so I know every, almost everybody in this city. So those are just you know my closest friends, everybody that supported me, people that seen me go through my up and ups and down, people that still supported me even after my last loss. So those are just you know close friends and people I, I care about a lot. Did you just talk about the strategy coming to the fight. Definitely. Um, I knew well watching film from him. I knew he had a hard right hand. So in order to have a hard right hand, you're going to have to plant your weight on your lead leg. So I knew if I took out that lead leg early, he wasn't going to have a hard right hand. And then it was one less thing I had to worry about. And I was planning on you know chipping the low leg, chipping the low leg, and then going upstairs. But he did a good job at uh, protecting that. And uh, I was trying to work his body because he was quite long, but he did a good job at keeping the distance. Uh, you won tonight. Brad Katona won the Ultimate Fighter a little while back. Uh, how, what does it mean to be part of this new wave of Canadians really taking over the UFC? It feels awesome, you know, I, I feel like, uh, you know, ever since George kind of been out, you know, Canada hasn't gotten as much respect as we deserve, so I feel like this new wave of Canadians coming up is awesome. We got a whole bunch of killers, Jordan Mean, one of the guys I trained with as well, just won, so, you know, it's it's good momentum coming in this year, and we're going to end the year with the same momentum as well. Any opponent you want to fight next, or you leave that up to your management? I know you're with Paradigm now, yeah. uh, by the way. I'll leave that up to my management and Sean Shelby. I'm not going to, you know, pick my fights. You give me a name, I'll train for it, I'll take them up. To go off James's question, uh, there isn't really a face of Canadian MMA in the UFC. Do you feel like that could be you? 
yes, now that I'm back, you know, on my winning ways, I definitely want to be the face of Canadian MMA. I think I got the looks, I think I got the personality, and I'd love to represent Canadian MMA. How does it feel to potentially be a representative from Western Canada, kind of bring the focus out here, away from Central Canada? I feel like I am becoming a, a Western Canada representative, so it feels awesome. I, you know, I'm a respectful fighter, you know. Um, I, I don't talk too much trash, I just do most of my talking in the octagon, and I feel like I'm a true Canadian. Um, you know, definitely, uh, I'll go back to SBG, you know, I, I love the family there, I love the, the training camp there, so, yeah, it's good to be diverse, but also there's another, you know, a couple other camps I'd like to, you know, check out as well and uh, just improve my game and learn even more. Which ones do you have in mind? Um, I did train uh, in New Jersey with Mark Henry, with uh, Marlon Marias and Edson Marbosa a couple years ago, so I'd like to go back there, train there. Um, I want to check out the UFC uh, Performance Institution, you know what I mean? So there's there's a lot of places I want to check out, uh, just the name too. Do you plan on making one of these bigger gyms your full-time home, or will Calgary always be your main? It'll be my base, and, and when I need to get out and get more experience and different looks from sparring partners, you know, I'll go for a little training camp and come back, but you know, this this is what made me, so this has definitely got to be my base. This is, this is where, you know, my boxing trainer is, this is where my Muay Thai kickboxing trainer is, my my jiu-jitsu MMA trainer is, or my strength conditioning coach is, so, you know, if it's not broke, they'll need to fix it. So, building off that, what were some of the skills that you took away from Champions Creed and training with Brian Bird that you brought into this fight tonight against Austin? Um, man, well, Brian Bird taught me everything about MMA. Like, you know, when I came, when I first came to Champions Creed, I was literally just a, a Muay Thai kickboxer, and I just started rounds sparring Nick Ring, like, not knowing any jiu-jitsu and just getting my, uh, my butt handed to me. So, you know, everything when it came to MMA, the stance, the movement, um, you know, I got to give to Brian.